And then there's a hip hop station, Hot 1079. Yes, as promised, I told you, man, the big dog has officially taken over the whole damn show because it's his night in the city. Uh, you know who I'm talking about, man. You can he has many names. Big Snow. Big yeah. Snow. Jesus the Snow, man. Yeah. Yeah. Mr. 17. Mr. 17. Five. Five. from the bottom of the map. Uh, the bottom <laughs> of the map. You know, all Can't that. Can't ban the snow, Can't man. Can't ban the yeah. What else, man? <laughs> you know, you know, Mr. Birthday Bands. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mr. Yeah. Birthday Bands. Mr. Birthday Bands. <laughs> That's Speak, a big one. Speaking of birthday bash, man, yeah. when when we gonna get you back, man? I mean, you just, know, just, just just to get that. You know, we gotta just put that bad signal in there. I'm gonna pull up. <laughs> I'm gonna pull up. Out. Yeah, I was. I, I was. think I think I think this is. I think 2023 need to be the year you come back, hey, man. I'm ready. And Let's we, do it. You know what I'm saying? That'd Jeezy be and friends. But nah, man, y'all make some noise for Jeezy he in the yeah. building, man. My dog. What up, though? Yes, sir, man. Jeezy, uh, how you feeling today, man? You, you got a big man. show, B side yeah. concert. I'm, from what I'm hearing, all mixtape records, though. Yeah, yeah. Shout Do out you to remember DJ all the drummer. lyrics? <laughs> I, you know what it is, though, bro. I just, I, I feel it. You know what I'm saying? It just like for me, it just, it take you back to um, that time. You know what I mean? So, yeah. I was just when we was going through the records, I was just like, wow. I remember what I was doing when this came out. I remember yeah. what I was doing when I was recording this. So it's just all reminiscent for me. I wanted to do something in the city that was different. Uh, do something in the city that was dope. Uh, you know, some real eight mile. Type, you know, standing room only. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. If, you, if you ain't get your ticket, you know, you got to catch it on my live stream, um, you know, on my Instagram at Jeezy. Check it out at 8 o'clock, you know. But other than that, you know, shout out, um, you know, to the whole city for pulling up tonight because I already know what that's going to be. It's going to be amazing, it's man. It's going to be a movie, baby. Shout out to everybody who's pulling up. Yeah, I might have to give me some vapes and vapes and um, <laughs> red monkeys. Red yeah. monkey jeans. <laughs> all that good stuff. And it's, this is all of, uh, leading up to, of course, uh, Snowfall, what yeah. we're all excited about right. um, that's coming out um, on the 21st. 21st of October, Snowfall will be everywhere music is sold. Shout out to DJ Drama. This is some uh, nostalgic. And, you know, for me, it's just like, I got bored with the game. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm trying to figure this out because, yeah. like I said, bro, you've you dropped so many gems over the years. Right. You know, at this at this level where you're at, I feel like it's, you know, high, well, high receiver Jay-Z verse. Mm -hmm. when, when it comes out, you know, young, you ain't got to do this if you don't want to. But yeah. the fact that you are dropping an album on the, 20, on the 21st, 21st yeah. uh, what were what, what they going to get from it? How does this feel to you? I mean, just, you know, it's, it, I, you know, I got bored with the game. I just feel like all the music was the same. You know what I'm saying? I felt like. It didn't really have that edge or that feeling for me. Yeah. So I just wanted to make something I wanted to hear. Shout out to Andre 3000. You always told him if you want to hear something, you just got to make it. Awesome. You know what I'm saying? And and for me, it's just like getting back with drama. Ain't no expectations. It ain't about no labels or mm -hmm. no radio record or this, that. It's just like let's go in there and do what we do and have fun. And, you know, both of us right now are very successful. You yeah. know, top of our game. Shout so, out to DJ Drama, man. Yeah, this, this was fun. You know what I mean? This was experience. Shout out to DJ uh, Don Cannon Don as well. Don Cannon as well. You know what I'm saying? It was like going in there, just doing what I do best. You know what I mean? It's just like for me, you know, you know, I enjoy putting my change back on every night. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I, I enjoy pulling them cars out, you know, so it all makes sense to me. Exactly, man. Yeah. Congratulations on the One Music Fest uh, yeah. stage too as well, man. I, yeah. I, I got to see, I was out of town, but I right. got to see it from uh, online. And Jeezy, man, like, how does it feel to still get that love man. and that appreciation? And right. just, you know, your stage was full. Yeah, Crazy. man. Shout out to everybody. But like, when I look back and saw, you know, the future governor and the mayor yeah. and. You know, just the the city and some of my street homies and the industry. It, it was, was just like a it was a celebration, and I had to say that was one of them ones where you really realize what you do it for. All mm -hmm. those records you made it was for moments like that when you come out and it's just like this is this is what you know Bang was about. Peace up, A Town. Now. Yeah. This is what put on for my city was about. It's like this mm -hmm. moment right here, mm -hmm. and uh, you know, especially going on before the Queen Lauren Hill. You know, he had to. You feel what I'm saying? That was that, that was a lot of energy right there. So for me, um, rocking you know twenty thousand at, at home uh, in front of my people, man, it just like word for word. It felt, if I'm honest, the closest thing I ever felt to that was my first birthday bash at uh, Lakewood, Lakewood Amphitheater. Lakewood Amphitheater, yeah. man. 
Yeah. Footage of that is still yeah, circulating I'm, I'm, and it's no still cap, magical. That's the yeah. only time I ever felt like that yeah. in Atlanta. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. 100%. Man, Young Jesus in the building, man. Tonight, uh, I don't know the location because it's, yeah, it's a special. It's a secret location. Secret. I, I can't tell them where it's at. But <laughs> and I, don't, not say it. <laughs> and I don't know where to get the tickets. Secret location. But I'm going to search Twitter and see if it's on Twitter uh, already. Man, yeah. look, I know Ticket Jerry somebody selling them, man. We're going to figure right, it out. Right, right, right. But tonight, the show is at Doors Open at 7 o'clock. Doors Open at 7 o'clock. Show starts at eight if you can't get in because i doubt you will if you don't know already yeah just log on to my instagram to my live it's gonna be on there uh we're gonna be um you know giving y'all exclusive oh yeah and amazing. we getting ready you know we just getting ready for october 21st man it's gonna be legendary the night's gonna be legendary october 21st is gonna be legendary next year birthday bash she's in friends is gonna be legendary Damn, you heard you know that? We, He's we, locked in. <laughs> we got the one and only snowman yes, uh big snow He's yeah, in the building, man. Yeah, he on that nod over there. I see oh, yeah. how he, I, he I'm got holding that on nod, this for dear that life. That nod, cognac. <laughs> got it going. 150 a shot tonight at the show if you yeah. want some. Speaking of the nod, you know, on top of everything else, man, you one of the you know best businessmen, uh, you know, out yeah. here motivating people and doing things you're doing. Um, and, and being at Def Jam, I wanted to talk about Def Jam a little right. bit, man. How loyal are you to the situation over there, man? man. You know, you, you just, you've been there from day Co one. Kobe Bryant loyal. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Lakers all the way. Yeah. Um, you Def know, Jam, how, how special is Def Jam to you? I mean, I've been through there since like five different regimes. So it's just like, you know, it's what I consider home, but I always done my own thing. It's like having a plug, but still being, you know, the hustler of the year. Mm -hmm. You know, you just got a plug. You know, if you need to do something, they there. And uh, they always support. Um, shout out to Dev Jam. We just signed Haiti Baby over there. I was just uh, about Haiti to talk Baby about Haiti Baby out of Stockton. Yeah, congrats um, on that. Out of the Bay, we just signed him to Dev Jam and CT New World. That's right, we open for business, baby. CT New World, get at us. Um, but what, what does Gigi look for in an artist, man? You signed Haiti Baby, like I right. said. What, 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 where are you looking? I just looking want. For? I just want to deal with people who who have a vision. You know what I'm saying? And know what they want, so I can help in my team, Agency 99, mm -hmm. uh, CT help them reach their vision. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because I, a lot of times when you sign people um, and they don't have a vision, they kind of lean on you to, yeah. you know, to have a vision like, for Jesus, them. You go on tour and then we go, right. I'm open up for you. Yeah, and that, nah, that's just one work. thing. Yeah, But you got to really know what you want. You know what I'm saying? In order to, it's like getting in the car and like, you, you don't put nothing in the GPS. You just driving around. Wasting gas. Saying? Right. And so, <laughs> and then, and then they don't get where they go. They looking at you like you made yeah. the wrong turn. Right. Like I didn't know who was going anyway. You feel me? So for me, it's just knowing what you want. You know what I mean? Having a vision, understanding who you are as an artist, and, and what's realistic. You know what I'm saying? And knowing that this doesn't come overnight. And also being a superstar. Right. Speaking of, like I said, Dev Jam again, man. So many special things have happened to you there. Mm -hmm. uh, you, you created an amazing bond with Shakir. Uh, one of the yeah, best A and sure. I feel like in the world. The best, yeah. um, but you know, talk about him for a second as far as our relationship. Yeah, and man. How powerful it was because I'm gonna give you the outside looking in view right. of it, right? You know, I'm a DJ, Stu. We all moving around doing our thing. But right. when you when you when you drop trap or die, then you put out you know Thug Motivation 101. Then you right. go sign to Def Jam, right. and Def Jam is Def Jam at that time. And we know Shakir Stu. He's moving right. around. He signed you, bro. Right. Like, how how did it feel? I mean, look, Just man. I'm gonna in keep that it relationship or how what he did. I'm gonna keep it a buck. Like Shake, Shake basically saved my life. Wow. You know what I'm saying, which was one of the reasons, you know, I felt, you know, away when he passed because I wish I could have helped him save his. But if I'm gonna keep it a buck, it's just like again, I had a vision. I knew what I wanted. Mm. He was the person to help me facilitate that. You know what I'm saying? Like when I went to the meetings with L.A. Reid, he had already been in the street seeing what I was doing. So he just really told L.A. like this is the one. Mm -hmm. Like don't drop the ball on him. <laughs> and and the conversations we had, um, he understood what my vision was and he was like doing everything in his power to help me reach where I was going. And it did help that when Kevin Lyles left, um, because he was the one of the guys that signed me up there. Yeah. He was the president. Yeah. And he left two weeks after signing me. But lo and behold, the new president became Jay Z. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, so yeah. it definitely worked out for me. But was it always <laughs> Dev Jam for you? Or, I mean, or was well, it Shakira, like, really finding exactly where you were I and think, how hot you was? I think, no, I, was, I, I got myself hot. You know what I'm saying? I had a vision. I, I had I had a vision, a goal in mind. I put those mixtapes in the streets. I pressed up hundreds of thousands yeah, of mixtapes. I spent thousand. millions of dollars yeah. on myself before I even got a record deal. But at the same time, like, Shakira was the one that helped me put the Like, he's the one that had the glue. Like, he was like, this, this is how you do it. 
Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying like this, like you, what you're doing now, you're a trap star. Yeah. If you want to be a superstar, this is what you do. Yeah, I heard, I heard the story about, about R. When, Kelly. R. Kelly. Yeah, yeah. R. Kelly. <laughs> so I had a record called Go Getter. Go get And I had one of the homies from the hood yeah. on the hook. And he took him off. And, and, and Shakir came to my crib. And I had a studio downstairs. I was like, yo, I got this record. And I played it for him. And he was like, um, yeah, I like it, man, but you got to take your man off. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I, that's like you telling him. You, gotta, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I was like, who you going to put on it? And he's like, just, let, me, let me just work my magic. Mm-hmm. So we sat there, and we argued like 30 minutes. And he was like, I'm telling you. And when he brought it back, and I heard uh, R. Kelly say, Young Jeezy, and, and your, your boy kills. I was like, like, yo. That was it. I said, but I got a bigger question. Is he going to shoot the video? <laughs> he, was like, yeah. he was like, he ready now. Oh man. And that was it. So shout out to Shakir for that, man. And, and not just myself, like Shakir has a lot to do with the Def Jam legacy. Like he signed yeah. Ross. Um he signed a few people over there. Yeah. Yeah. Rocco. You know Ro- yeah, he, yeah, he Rocco. signed a lot of people. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he did. Yeah, yeah. For sure. Absolutely. Now you know you've you've motivated the thug. You you've motivated us, you know what I'm saying, in the streets, get out the streets, in right. business, you know, you motivating us, you know, as a husband and, and we just see you the elevation and the growth of you. What keeps Jeezy motivated now today to keep going? The people. The responsibility to what I signed up for, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying for me, you right. know it's just like I was in the streets. I did tell people to trap or die, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying. But then there's different levels to trapping, you know what I'm saying. There's different levels to evolution. So for me, it's just like when I'm out here and I'm running around, I see these young cats trying to figure it out. You know, I I, I, I do not like the term OG. So if any of you texting me talking about OG, <laughs> just oh, know man. I'm not hitting you back. <laughs> <laughs> but, but I am the big homie. Big homie, you know what I'm saying? Okay, so, yeah. and just like I got big homies, mm-hmm. if when I do my business deals, there's people that I have to consult with to understand how to make this work out for me in the long term. Mm-hmm. So, I want to be that for the generation behind me and also the guys that are in the streets that are trying to figure it out. Because mm-hmm. it's like you got to get from here to here, but there's no handbook. You're not going to read, you know, the 48 Laws of Power or yeah. the Power of Now and figure that out. You got to have a conversation with somebody who done it. So for me, like that's what fulfills me being there to be like, okay, is, is, is the music is stagnant? Let me let me come back and say it like being in the hood. You know, everything go down. Yeah. But then when big homie pull up and that big that big drop top, and everybody want to listen. <laughs> right. You know what I'm saying? Like what y'all out here doing, man? Y'all really need to be. You know what I'm saying? They're like, oh, okay, that's how we rock it. So. Yeah. That's what fulfills me because it's a responsibility, bro. Like, it's not yeah, about the money. Gems, yeah, it's not about the bread. I don't want a hundred thousand. I want to sit down and have dinner right. with Young Jesus. A hundred thousand dollars of dinner with Jesus. I like what that. Rachel put that in the books. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but no, man. Of Jesus, t- t- Jesus. T- tonight is a night, bro. Like, we're celebrating a different yeah. side of you that a lot of, yeah. a lot of fans may not know. This, this right. mixtape stuff, right. you know, is special to a lot of people in Atlanta, man. Right. Because Trap or Die, and I, I've told Drama this a hundred times. I think I've right. told you a million times. That was our Bible. Right when I was coming up, and and the thing about it is, I learned so much with Trapper Die. I learned that I was building a brand, you know what I'm saying? Because that's where Snowman came from. And I also learned that, you know, between Streets is Watching, which is my first yeah. DJ Drama mixtape, yeah. mm-hmm. to Trapper Die, I learned that I didn't have a presence. So when I put out Trapper Die and I put that DVD of all the footage I had with it, it changed my life. You know what I'm saying? Because I would walk in the trap house. I see people watching me on the, on the screen. I'm like, that's hard. This is real, right? You know yeah. what I'm saying? And and I would be out, and people would approach me and be like, "Yo, your music is hard," but I was still a street guy, and I had to click in that mode to be like, "Oh, I'm an artist." I keep forgetting. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? But yeah. for me, what you gonna get tonight is just, you gonna get you gonna get that feeling. You gonna get those goosebumps because these records hasn't been done in a form of celebration. Right. It was done Never. in a form of desperation. In the beginning, we was trying to get out the streets, <laughs> yeah, 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 but we yeah. celebrating tonight. You feel what I'm saying? We getting we getting off tonight. So I got some difficult questions for you, man. I'm gonna make you pick between some of your biggest mixtapes you ever put out. You ready for this? Oh, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. All right. So I want you to pick between Streets is watching and Can't Ban the Snowman. Ooh, pick one. <laughs> And you I only say Can't Ban the Snowman. I'm going to tell you why. That intro so hard. Yeah, I'm going to tell, I'm, I'm, I'm so tell you why I did on Can't Ban the Snowman. i never forget. I hit Shakira and I was like, yo, Shakira Stewart, I said, yo, I want to record. They won't let me in B room where I record at mm. Blue Room. He said, come to my studio, which was uh, the studio he had behind Blue Room. I think it was uh, him and L.A. Reid's studio. Mm. He let me block it out. And I went in there for, for a week, and nobody came through the studio because it was by itself. 
and I recorded King Band the Snowman from the top wow. to the bottom. That's and crazy. I played it for him. He was like, "Baby, we back. <laughs> <laughs> we back." I got another one for you. I'm, I'm the Street Dream or Trapping Ain't Dead. Trapping Ain't Dead. Why? Trapping Ain't Dead was special, man. I never forget um, when I was doing. I was G. Robinson came to my crib, um, and I had a studio in the basement, and he played me this kid he just signed, and um, I didn't never heard of him, mm-hmm. and it was Lil Wayne's new artist. Oh wow! And I was just like, who 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 is this? And he's like Drake. You're gonna hear about him. He's gonna be big. And I'm like, what? You know That's what amazing. And I did. I'm going in for Drake. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And that was the start of that. Wow. You know what I mean? Then I, Because I, I felt like I was in my pocket, then I just started grabbing records. Mm. And uh, different producers would just send me stuff. But but when I heard the intro, because I recorded it one of those nights leaving the club, mm. and I heard it back, yeah. I was like, yo, this got to be a tape. So wow. shout out to Trapping Amazing. Day. Amazing. Yeah. And, of course, the, the two mega ones, of course, are, but you got to pick one. I know. I think I know what you're going to pick. Yeah. Yeah. No. The Real is Back or Trap or Die? Trap or die. All right, cool. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so well, when, tonight, go ahead. So when you look at the, the, the track list for tonight of, 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 of all your records that you're going to do, you know, which one, you know, is the most personal for you that you feel like is going to really, you know, get that emotion? Man, I feel like the intro to Trap or Die. I feel like the intro to Trap or Die is, is, is what this is embodied like here I stand a grown <laughs> ass man, man you know what I'm saying all, all by, by myself, myself. <laughs> a grown ass feel me like, like, that's, that's it it's like, you know, you know that's it oh my yeah, god that's the thing bro like mm-hmm. cause since the beginning you know just to clarify you know anybody that ever put any question marks about anything I ever done is I always told people mm-hmm. from the beginning I was corporate thugging Mm. You feel what I'm saying? I'm 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 a, I'm I'm thugging in this, but I'm I'm going for a bigger goal, which is corporate. Right. And I always told him it was thug motivation. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying so. Mm. That's who I am. So it's just like when you take that and you break it down and you listen to the music and everything I ever said I I was gonna do I did in real time. Yeah. You gotta respect the fact that that's my that was my vision from day one. So that's what you're going to get tonight. We celebrating the vision. We celebrating everybody that was at Visions popping bottles and going about. through this thing with me. Too. You know I was what I'm watching, saying? I was, I was in the back Magic watching. City, <laughs> three, four hundred thousand in the air. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Bottles yeah. in the air. This for us tonight, baby. We right. going up. Tonight, man, Jeezy's uh, secret location is going to be amazing. I'm sure it's already sold out. Uh, we can't even get tickets. Sold out 18 I, I, seconds. I think Devin got a couple. I don't in. know. We're going to slide yeah, in. Yeah, if you want some tickets, just hit Devin. He got like four <laughs> in his back pocket. Well, what's his IG? At Devin <laughs> underscore Steel? Yeah, for real. He got but, four in his back pocket. <laughs> B-side tonight, man. Uh, the album comes out 21st. 21st, October 21st, Snowfall. That's right, your boy Snow, Big Snow, DJ Drama. It's going to be drama. epic. Shout out to Don Cannon and the whole team, Cannon, man. Everybody. I don't know what, what, what Drama told you in the last couple of weeks, man, or months, but you, you just on a roll today, man. Yeah, you been on a roll the last yeah. couple of weeks. Battery yeah. is back. Yeah. I don't know it's, what it's, the hell it's, happened. It's, it's up. It's yeah. time. Yeah, okay. Well, stay right there. Right. Right. I love it, man. <laughs>